Hi, I'm Amy from Chew Out Loud. We love our bread around here, and nothing beats a fresh out of the oven, homemade loaf of bread. It's soft and chewy on the inside with a great crust on the outside. Our homemade French bread is exactly that. Let's get baking. First, you'll want a nice large bowl, and I've already pre-measured here about four cups of simple all-purpose flour, two packages of commercially available active dry yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. And take your whisk, and we're just gonna whisk this dry mixture up. With our dry ingredients nicely combined, we are going to stir in some warm water. Now it's really important that your warm water is at 110 degrees, which you know really helps if you have a thermometer that can kind of make sure that you did that accurately. And we are going to just simply get your wooden spoon and just stir that. Okay, now once you've been stirring for a while, you can check your dough. If it seems kind of a little bit on the dry side, you can add a tablespoon of warm water at a time. Now you want to be really careful to only do one tablespoon at a time because a little bit goes a long way here. Now while you're stirring your dough, if you find that it's getting a little too sticky, you can sprinkle in a bit of flour at a time. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get my hands in here because mine is just about ready for kneading. So once the dough has come together, you can kind of just get your hands in there and get a feel for the dough, make sure it's a good consistency. Here we go, this is perfect. It is elastic and smooth, flexible, malleable, but not too sticky. So you're able to, you know, pinch it, all kinds of things, but it's not gonna necessarily stick to you. So that's when you know it's the perfect consistency. And here's the fun part, kneading the dough. Now a lot of people sometimes wonder how kneading works. It's not really a free-for-all dough smashing here. You wanna pick up a corner or pick up the other side, opposite side like that, almost into a round. Then you're just gonna smash that guy down Now that we've been kneading for about 10 minutes, we're gonna give that one final roll. So this is perfect here. It's kind of like Play-Doh, elastic, but not too sticky. Okay, we're gonna shape that into a ball and place it in a well-oiled bowl. I've already gone ahead and oiled it. Place it downwards and turn it around to coat it because you want it to be coated with that oil on all sides so the dough doesn't dry out while it's rising. And we're just going to cover it with some saran wrap or cling wrap because you don't want any draft getting into your dough while it's rising or else it won't rise correctly. Okay, so wrap it nice and airtight and place it in the warmest spot of your home that you can think of. Um, the warmer it is, the better and quicker of a rise you'll get. So we're hoping for a 30 minute rise here, um, but give or take 30 to 60 minutes approximately, you wanna look for it doubling in size. So here's our dough. It has nicely doubled in size. Show you and you can take a look here. It's beautiful. See how it's puffed up double in size and this took Mine took about 30 minutes only. Um, I had it in a really warm location of my home. 30 minutes was all it took. Um, so again, the warmer your location, the better. One test you can do also is just to poke your finger gently down and if it gives a little bounce back, you know it's ready to go. Okay, so we're gonna real gently here, dump this out on our work surface. You wanna lightly flour that work surface again so it doesn't stick. This is actually super fun. We're gonna punch it down. Now when we say punch it down, we don't mean like attack it. Just, you know, you wanna just punch out sort of the excess air there. Now, divide that in half. I'm gonna try to give it a 
nice even half here because each half is gonna become its own separate loaf. So I'm gonna put one piece to the side and the other half, I'm gonna work with that right now. Again, just kinda dust your work surface so it's not gonna stick. You can also just give your rolling pin a little dust here. And we're gonna roll that out into a rectangle, 14 inches by nine inches. You don't have to worry about it being too perfectly 14 by nine inches here. I'm just giving you that as a rough estimate so you know about how large um, you should go. One thing is you can kind of stretch it as you go to help you achieve that rectangular size uh, shape. You wanna try not to break the dough if possible. We're gonna roll it lengthwise. So you wanna just kind of gently roll it up. Not too tight, just a loose, loose roll there, okay? And then we're gonna turn up these edges and do a little bit of water here at the edges, just to pinch the seams down. You wanna make sure that the seams don't come apart while it's baking. And we're gonna place our loaf seam side down onto a rimmed baking sheet that is dusted with some cornmeal. We're gonna take a super sharp knife and make some slits. You want it about a fourth of an inch deep. Then I've got here an egg wash, which is just egg white and a bit of water. We're gonna brush that egg white on top. What this is gonna do is seal in the moisture as well as provide color to the exterior of your loaves. Okay, so we're gonna cover them just real loosely. Gently cover them and place them again in a draft-free, warm place of your home. And just let that sit, just like that, about roughly about 30 minutes or until they double back up again. Okay, so here are our two loaves that are now risen to double the size, roughly double um, the size. You just basically want them to get to the point that they look like two loaves of French bread. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to place this in an already preheated oven at 375. So you should just go ahead and preheat your oven while your loaves were rising. That way your oven will already be set at 375 with the rack at the lower middle position. We will place a large pan, what I, I just use a three, uh, 13 by nine um, pan and fill it up with water and place it on the very lowest level of the oven. So that just gives your oven um, some more kind of like a steam and moisture so that that way it keeps your bread nice and moist and not um, keep it from drying out. We'll go ahead and bake it at 15 for 15 minutes and do a little egg wash kind of real quick in the middle there and then continue to bake it for the final 10 minutes and that'll be it and you should have yourself some beautiful loaves of bread. Okay you guys this smells so good. Our freshly baked French loaves, homemade, fresh out of the oven, warm and it's gonna be soft and tender on the inside and crispy crust on the outside. It's beautiful golden as you can see, just gorgeous and seriously this house smells so amazing. You guys are gonna love this French bread.